What we're doing today is we're, we're getting all of the clothes we're showing you are from a consignment shop. It's very hard to build a wardrobe. Um, you know, you've been wearing casual clothes to school, that's great, now you're going to go to a job. Now some jobs are business casual, that doesn't necessarily mean jeans, it may, but you're always better to err on being too dressy than too undressed. You know, even if you're a little more dressed up for the interview, um, it behooves you. My daughter came out of college, she was meeting an old friend of hers that was going to maybe tell her about her job, and, and I said, how are you dressing? And she's like, oh, you know, and I said, no. <laughs> and I, I gave her one of my silk suits and said, you know, you're going to wear this. Fortunately, we're the same size. And she ended up having lunch with the owner of the company and four other people and got the job and was grateful for being in the silk suit. So you never know when you show up who really is talking to you about the job. Okay? All right, so this is a, a little shop in Fairhaven. I'm, I don't care if you go there, but it's a way to build a wardrobe more reasonably. So one of the things that they have here is a kind of a, this would be a little more like summery, a little more casual, a striped short sleeve dress. The dress is only $12, the necklace is 14 you know, the whole outfit's $26. And it's still, you know, presentable, nice, casual, um, but dressy enough. Um, so it's a nice option. This company, they also said, will help you put yourself together. If you've never had to do this, they really have people there trained to help you. So they actually put these outfits together for us. So this is a, a nice, sweet outfit. Again, you may not want to go sleeveless, so this gives you an opportunity to look a little more dressy. It's an olive dress. The dress is only $18. The pink sweater is $12. The necklace is $10. So the whole outfit is $40. And what you want to think about is getting some basic things to work off of. I'm wearing a red jacket. I could wear it with black pants. I can wear it with black skirt. I can wear it with black turtleneck. You know, so this outfit could become many things. When you don't have a lot, you want to think, what can I do to build my wardrobe? This is a, oh, that's what the one that goes with the black skirt. <laughs> this one has a black skirt, okay. So this is a creamy lacy top for $10, the orange sweater, which is nice. It's, again, it covers, you know, some multitude of sins sometimes when we're trying to cover our hips. Um, it's a nice black skirt, it's very reasonable, um, and then a nice little necklace. So again, these outfits are ending up to be $40, $55 each, if, and that's including jewelry, which you may already have. Um, and here's a, a nice little navy dress, um, $19, a lace jacket, which really dresses up something that's quite casual, but all of a sudden it cakes on a whole different tone. Um, a silver, I mean a gold necklace and bracelet, Again, the whole thing is like $55. So very reasonable, um, looks kind of chic, looks like you have a sense of style and that you cared. I had someone show up for an interview with wet hair. I figured she didn't bother to dry her hair. She probably didn't really want to work. You know? So all these things make an effect. Um, here's an orange coat, lovely, nice if it's a little element day. Um, navy uh, slacks and a blue blouse and scarf. The whole outfit, $61. Again, you don't need to buy all of it. But it's, you know, it's a nice way to kind of pull it together. Um, they also have men's clothes there. They have children's clothes. It's a kind of a full family place. Um, it took us maybe 10 minutes to get there. It wasn't bad at all. Um, <clears throat> for men, you know, they, they can get away with a multitude of sins, right? They, they only need a blazer, a shirt, and a tie, and they're good. A few ca a khaki pants to go with it, and you can, um, well, of course, we have this nice outfit here if you want to stand up and demonstrate what you're wearing. <laughs> this is a great outfit. It's very nice. It could, it could fit in any setting, which is great. Here are some khaki pants that would go with this, which would be a nice outfit as well. Okay? And again, the blazer is pretty reasonable, I believe. Um, yeah, the blazer, oh, that's the suit. Where was the blazer? The Here's the suit. Okay. So this. Um, yeah, the jacket was $29. That's great for a blazer. This is a nice white shirt, black um, tie, and a suit. And again, then you can wear the pants separately with just a shirt or, you know, the jacket with a pair of khakis or navy blue pants. So you've got a lot of variety, and that's what you kind of want to build on when you start off. And if you look around at women, like, you know, if you want to stand up, she's got a very nice black outfit. She throws on, so puts on a nice sweater. <laughs> We've got Debbie, she's dressed herself up with a, 
a nice scarf and it's changed the whole outfit, you know, so. She's always looking I know, it's great. So look around for samples. And again, if, the, if you're going for business casual, you can usually go wrong with a polo shirt and some khakis. Um, sometimes people have jeans, but even then, they can't be the jeans you just pull out of the hamper. They have to be a little bit pressed. Um, underwear really isn't acceptable for the workplace. Um, Victoria's Secrets is nice in your bedroom, but you probably shouldn't wear it out. Um, and you know, I know the tights are really, really exciting, uh, but probably, again, it's probably not going to help you on an interview. So if you could be professional about how you're presenting yourself, you know, um, I've had three kids and that conversation has been taking place for years. Now they've grown up and have jobs, thank God. But <laughs> If there was a process when they, well, it's just me. Why don't they just, I said, they won't get to you if they can't get past your clothes. Ooh. So you've got to get them to see you. And if they're so distracted, then they'll never get to see what you have to say and what you know. Okay. Any questions about it? What was the name of that shop again? Um, well, we, ap we actually have some business cards here. And she's given some with the 15% um, off on your entire purchase. So if you want to pick some up, they're called Second Count, and they're on Huddleston Avenue, which is Route 6, right on, it's right across the bridge in Fairhaven. So they're very nice, and they seem really helpful, and you can shop for your whole family. So, and I don't, you know, again, this is, they've got savers now, they've got a million of these consignment shops. And even TJ Maxx's has, you know, great sales. And again, again, the shoes, okay, you know, we're not the women of the night. We don't have to have the you know, straps up to here. Um, keeping it conservative until you find out the lay of the land. You may get there and find out it's pretty fun and sassy. That's great. But you can't assume that when you walk in. So you better to tone it down and then bring it up if you can. But um, you're, you're better with a nice pair of pumps or flats or something. And uh, for the guys, you know, I know you love the sneakers, but those are probably not going to make it to an interview, right? So you want to have. You know, even if it's a pair of loafers or something kind of flat, if you have black sneakers that aren't too noticeable, that's great too. But I, you know, I know it's expensive, but you can do it reasonably, and it, it's really it's going to be who view because then you can make the money to buy the clothes if you get the job. <laughs> so, okay, all right. Thank you.